It's incredible to learn this. If you have mild or moderate heart failure or high levels of inflammation, you may actually respond well to stem cell injections. Patients experience a decline in their risk of heart attack strokes and heart-related death, according to clinical trial results. Let's talk about this a bit more in depth. Pleased to have Dr. Chauncey Crandall, the director of the Palm Beach Clinic of Preventative Medicine and Cardiology. He's also the author of the Heart Health Report, a monthly newsletter that has helped hundreds of thousands of readers prevent and reverse heart disease. Dr. Crandall, welcome in this Friday. Always good to see you. Thank you, Bianca. Thank you. I love stem cells because it does seem like the future. And, you know, when you use them for hearts, I've seen them, you know, with, you know, meniscus tears or joints, but this is pretty incredible and promising results. What can you tell us? Well, Bianca, it is. You know, these stem cells are very interesting. In the Old Testament, it said the life of a person was in the blood, and this is really true. Stem cells come from your bone marrow, and these are really mother cells. They make many different populations of different cells. They have the ability to go to the tissue and heal the tissue. And for heart, uh, we have found this to be true. Those that have had a heart attack, those that have heart failure or damage of the heart, we can actually inject these stem cells into the heart and the heart can regenerate, it can become stronger. There can be less episodes of heart failure or hospital admission. And the, and the good news is that stem cells can come from the bone marrow. We can pull that out with the needle, but also <clears throat> it can be harvest, harvested from um, lipid cells in the fatty tissue of your abdomen and also uh, from, uh, you know, different areas. So yeah. uh, these stem cells are amazing, amazing. And, you know, they're coming from your own body. So they're not outside. They're coming from inside. And that's sort of the beauty of all of this. I mean, uh, how long does it take to see results if one was to get this? And are there any side effects or any um, risks at all, doctor? Well, I think right now it's still somewhat experimental for the heart. So you have to go to a university site to receive these stem cells. And what they do, they hyperstimulate uh, your bone marrow, then they harvest the cells out, uh, they process the cells, and then they inject them to your heart. This can be done simply through a catheter that is put into the groin of the leg, that goes up to the artery of the heart, and then they just let these stem cells loose, and they seem to know where they should go and repopulate areas that need assistance. So it's a breakthrough. Uh, we still don't understand everything, but it's a beginning. It sure is. Modern medicine and the amazing human body that God created. Incredible news there. Thank you so much for sharing it with us today, Dr. Crandall. Always good to see you. Thank you, Bianca. Have a good holiday. Thank you. We will try. Uh, pretty incredible. If you want to learn more, the stem cell cure is packed with everything you'd want to know. Incredible breakthroughs about stem cell treatments. Now, this is actually a $25 value. You can get it wherever books are sold or get this book and Dr. Crandall's free heart health report. It is an offer right here at Newsmax. We're giving to our family of viewers. You can call 1-800-497-3234 or go online, stemcellcure211.com and check it out.